and then I can look for say I want a car that has that is within the um, two thousands. So um so, uh, that is around the two thousand something like this, somewhere around here. So that will give me now I want something with a mileage that is low. So I will look for one of them that has low mileage like this. So this mileage is just uh this is what twenty one thousand that is too high. I don't want something like that high. So okay. I want something lower. Because they come here and look for if that other um spreadsheet has been here, it will be easier to get what I want or to see get what I want. So if we come to uh, 2005, I okay. it. Let me see. Let me use this. Let me use this. The mileage of this is um, 36,000. See a bit high, but let me see which car is that. It's a uh, um, Okay, so it's uh, this car. So we can look at it. See which one. What it is actually, and its transition and everything. So see, it is. We have fitted it to one car. It's a 1996 car. It's been seven years. It's a uh, car type. Is, let's see what is it is. It's a BMW car. That's why it's been seven years. Okay, it's a five series automatic and it is petrol. So, uh, is this what you want? If you like the car, the price is uh, five thousand nine hundred and five pounds. So you can use this dashboard to filter for low prices. If you want a low price, you can use it to filter for low prices. For example, you can even filter it straight from um, the mileage versus price. Okay. So you can filter it from the mileage versus price. Okay, this might my, my, my display stock. I want something say, oh I want a, something that is somewhere here so this, because this is this is a plot of all the cars so if I say I want something that is cheap with no mileage where can I get this car this car says there's a price car here that is a, a C class that is 3690 let me see what is the features about that car I want to see what's the feature about it it's a 2000 car see a 2000 car sorry 2002 car the price is 3690 so it looks kind of good so what are the uh, the engine size is about 2 point something uh, 2.6 and then um, it is using petrol let me see more details about it it's a C class it's automatic it uses petrol okay and uh, what else is there to see about it it's um, so I can use that to filter or filter up something like that. So I can get a C class and, and I see if I look at the mileage, yes, the mileage was low. So based on that, you can use it to to like filter out like instead of going to search all through the whole book of the uh, the car dealership, you can say, oh, let me see this your mileage plot. Just try and click on something here. But if you are specific about which of the cars you want, you can come first of all to this place. You say you want a cheap. BMW car with low mileage, for example, or let's just say you want a, a let's choose something as Audi. You want a cheap Audi with low mileage. So that means you have to see, select something from here. So you select one of these. 
and mileage is just 4,000. So let's see this car. Because it's a BMW, it has low mileage. So, when you do that, it will bring, say it's a 2008 car, um, the mileage is, let's look at that for that the mileage. Four thousand five hundred and fifty-two. Uh, the engine is one to two. This is petrol. Um, we've already seen the um, okay, the accurate average engine size is one point four. So it's an Audi. Um, car type Audi Model A one. And this is a manual transition. So it's a manual transition. And that's it. So that you can use it to filter. Then we can go to panel two. Panel two does not have the show more. I didn't add it to it. I didn't see any need for it because most of them are grouped. And we have uh, this more button. This panel two is like a panel two and three. If you want to see the top part of the panel two, it doesn't change the um, key performance index. The key influencer plot does not change, but this other plot changes. We have this. Um, Plots of count versus mileage, and you can see where the highest count of mileage is. Uh, count versus empty size, and you can see the older empty size. And even the cars are the move, like most of the uh, Ford are one to two, and then you see the BMW uh, three to four are mostly BMW, and then the Mercedes are in four to five, the Mercedes and Audi and the BMW are there. And if you come to it, you see all of these even with average price the move of the different car types now to get this plot you have to do a dax calculation of the different car types their prices and then the accounts for you to be able to plot this and then this is the key influencer key influencer um, indicator plot where it which gives us information like we've already seen now on this on this um on this plot i also added the report now if you click here it will take you to where the report is on my GitHub page, I have the report, and then you can see the report introducing this UK use car sales analysis report, data sourcing, the data is from Cargo, and every explanation the report on this. So you see it on this my page. So that is my um, the explanation on this my display if you want to see how i did it let me know if i have up to 1000 subscribers i 